This presentation is on solving for sludge volume index. As always, I claim no ownership to any of the questions or material presented in this video, as everything is sourced off the open internet. In the following slides, I will, to the best of my knowledge, present the proper formulas and the correct answers to the questions. Uh, it's just a math study guide. Hopefully it helps you. So this formula for the sludge volume index is off the state of Florida formula sheet that they give you whenever you take a test. As always, I suggest if your state gives you a formula sheet to get familiar with it so that you know where to find things and uh, you're not scrambling when you're taking your test to find the formulas. So the sludge volume index is equal to the 30 minute settleability, which is a word that I'm having trouble saying today, divided by the mixed liquor suspended solids times 1000. So what is the SVI of the activated sludge if the MLSS is 3,600 milligrams per liter and the 30 minute settleability reading is 840 milliliters per liter? So you pull out your known, your unknown. We have 3,600 milligrams per liter and 840 milliliters per liter. We're looking for the SVI. This is the formula to find the sludge volume index. So we're going to plug our numbers in, 840 milliliters per liter divided by 3,600 milligrams per liter times 1,000 milligrams per gram. Everything cancels out and you're left with 233.33 milliliters per gram. What is the SVI of the activated sludge if the MLSS is 4,600 milligrams per liter and the 30 minute settleability reading is 240 milliliters per liter? As always, pull out your known, your unknown. 4,600 milligrams per liter and 240 milliliters per liter. We're looking for the SVI. So here's our formula. We're going to go ahead and plug all our numbers in. So 240 milliliters per liter divided by 4,600 milligrams per liter times 1,000 milligrams per gram. Everything will cancel out and leave you that's with 52.17 milliliters per gram. What is the SVI of the activated sludge if the MLSS is 2,850 milligrams per liter? And the 30 minute settleability reading is 344 milliliters per liter. Get your known and your unknowns out of your question. 2,850 milligrams per liter, 344 milliliters per liter. And we're looking again for the SBI. Formula for sludge volume index, still 30 minute settleability divided by the MLSS times 1,000. Plug our numbers in, 344 milliliters per liter divided by 2,850 milligrams per liter times 1,000 milligrams per gram. Everything will cancel out. And your answer is 120.7 milliliters per gram. A setability test on an MLSS sample in a one liter graduated cylinder had a suspended solids result of 248 milliliters. If the mixed liquor suspended solids was 2,620 milligrams per liter in the aeration tank, what was the sludge volume index? All right, gonna pull your known, your unknowns out of the question. You had 2,620 milligrams per liter and 248 milliliters per liter. And we're looking for the SVI still. We're still using the same formula. All right, we're going to plug all our numbers in. So 248 milliliters per liter divided by 2,620 milligrams per liter times 1,000 milligrams per gram. And your answer is 94.65 milliliters per gram. Those are pretty easy, straightforward, and quick. Hopefully this helps you. Thanks.